This summer, it's unlikely you'll hear the roar of fans after a home run or the buzz about a blockbuster exhibit at the Detroit Institute of Arts. And that's a problem for Sandy Levine. When the shutdown happened, we, you know, we immediately laid everyone off um, and uh, just kind of shut down. He's a partner in Chartreuse Kitchen and Cocktails, just steps away from the DIA. With museums, theaters, and stadiums dark, there's no telling when his staff of 32 will be back on the job. Until there's a vaccine, um, you know, carry out and, and curbside and, and people bringing our food home to eat is going to be a huge part of our business. Levine is one of nearly 350,000 people across the region whose job relies on tourism, travel, and leisure. Our industry is all about bringing people together. Uh, encouraging them to leave their homes and come in and socialize. And, and unfortunately, COVID-19 is saying separate. Larry Alexander is CEO of the Detroit Metro Convention and Visitors Bureau. He says the industry had shaken off the effects of the 2008 recession and was growing by leaps and bounds. To keep that going, they'll have to adapt. New layouts for meeting rooms, temperature checks at venues, and 50% fewer seats at restaurants. An expensive bind for businesses. When you try to reduce your cost, you don't have the same uh, enjoyment or interaction that has been there in the past. But Alexander says Metro Detroit has the same pluses as before the shutdown, ready to power up the area's rebound. It's still affordable, easy to reach by air and ground, with great events and attractions. Everything that we have is fun and it's exciting. A pitch Alexander has taken around the world. Back at Chartreuse, Sandy Levine longs for the hustle and bustle of a packed dining room. I didn't ever think about how much I would miss that. So here's the rebound rundown. Tourism and hospitality is one of Michigan's largest industries. There'll be changes to how events, conventions, hotels, and restaurants operate. But everything that made Detroit a destination before is still here. And since every city has the same challenges, we're not losing ground. Now, Larry Alexander says there could be pent up demand in Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, and in places that people can drive to Metro Detroit. We've all been cloistered in our homes, and so many of us are ready to get out and see people face to face again. Obviously, we need to be careful about how that all happens, but he says if there's the thought that that pent up demand can really help power Detroit's tourism rebound.